Hi, Cancer. Welcome back to your February 14 and 15 reading for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the North Node for February 14 and 15. So let's see what your overall energy is here, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. February the 14th and the 15th for Cancer. All right. So your overall energy is family, blood ties, inner circle, which is important to you. So it makes sense. Cancer waves, emotions coming and going, okay, of happiness. So waves of happiness and um, waves of other things, okay? So let's see. Cancer, someone rising, Venus in the North Node. For Cancer, what's the message? For Cancer, Solar Rising Venus in the North Node. What's the messages for Cancer, please? February 14 and 15, 111. All right, so we have the High Five and the King of Cups. So this is a, there you are, Cancer. This is about love, respect, devotion. This is family ties, love of your family. This could even be about your children. Yeah. Damn, I have the deck in the reverse and they fell out upright. So, yeah, I'm feeling like a lot of a love, devotion, respect off this. We have the King of Wands and the Empress. So, a lot of love here. Yeah, a lot of attraction. Okay, devotion. Who is this? Yeah, Cancer. Okay, respect. So, I'm getting this is about love. This is about ties. This is about, this, is, this could be about a marriage here as well. You're in love with your person, blood ties, family, or maybe you're realizing just how important family is. Or maybe you're, you're thinking about or reminiscing about this trip to the beach or this time at the beach. Or, yeah, the King of Wands, Empress. There's somebody here. This could be a same-sex relationship, but it doesn't have to be. Maybe you're in love with the fact that somebody's pregnant. Or what's the higher font in King of Cups? Family ties. All right. Yeah, the fool. Yeah. So you're devoted and you're in love, but you also want to be free. You have the Three of Cups, you want a third party, or you're into polygamy. So you're very, okay, here you are with, with your family. Family ties is here, blood ties, inner circle, but you want to be free. You want a third party, or you want to get the Seven of Cups. Wow, and the lovers, yeah. You want to, you want to have your, this is all three cards of having your options open, wanting to be open, maybe polygamy, having different partners. Maybe somebody here is confused about their sexual preference. Or maybe somebody else feels like someone else is confused about their sexual preference. Or, yeah, we have Gemini and Taurus, Aquarius energy here. Or someone's like, am I in love? Yeah, there's a girl that's in love with another girl. But they're like, am I? They're they're attracted to them. They think they're sexy. They're, okay, let's see. Or if it's not that, it's different for everybody. It's somebody here that's into polygamy. They're married, they're devoted, but they also want to be free. They want to do what they want to do. It's like a different type of devotion. It's like, I'm devoted, I'll be home. You know what I'm saying? I'll be home every fucking night or whatever, but I, I, I'm going to do stuff. I'm going to see other people. I'm going to sleep around. I want to do what I want to do. I want to explore. Yeah. So, I mean, it's all about what you into. What's the full card? Okay, but I'm kind of getting, like, that's what somebody's doing here. Yeah, the judgment. I feel like somebody's meant, they feel like they're called to do something. I feel like somebody feels like they're not meant to be. Even though they can be devoted, they can't be tied down. So this is somebody that would need to be in a relationship with somebody where they have the freedom to do as they please, be with who they want, to have the relationships that they want to have with the people that they want to have it with. Yeah, we have the nine of swords here. All right, so this is worry, okay? I feel like somebody feels like they're called to something bigger here, okay? Um, or, but they also have these family ties, their family, but there's almost the other nine of swords, three of pentacles, six of swords, and the moon. There you are.
I just feel like you want to move things into calmer waters. You want to heal something. You want to work something out. I'm just getting how, how I, I just feel like somebody's realizing how important family is or something like that. What is this? Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, that's confirmation. Okay. So being free, walking away. You want to know what it, you know, or somebody else has. It's just like somebody's, somebody has freed themselves to go after the calling, walk away, detach. Or somebody's wanting to do, do that, but at the same time, they want to be loyal or devoted to this family or whatever this is. All right. Yeah. Emotions coming and going. One second, somebody's happy. The next, they're feeling, yeah, the Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles. They're feeling out in the cold. They're feeling down. They're feeling very much like they're supposed to be somewhere like lost. I feel like somebody feels lost or like something is missing here in their life. But at the same time, yeah, the hangman, the chariot, this could be you, Cancer. You want to see things from a different perspective. It's almost like, I don't know. It's almost like you have to show this respect. You have to show this loyalty, this, this devotion. All right. But you, but you also you you hear the voice, you hear the calling that just that you need to free yourself or move forward or walk away or do something else or maybe somebody else did this. Yeah, the world card, something is complete or it's over. Yeah, the justice. This could be a very karmic situation, possibly. But I'm just getting like yeah, the eight of wands. What is this? Yeah, the empress. This could be your mother or your grandmother with the hierophant. Yeah, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles definitely could be a mother in the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, or this Empress. It could be it could be any sign with the, with the Hierophant here, a Taurus, a Aquarius, a Libra. Okay, yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles that's doing very well. Yeah, a grandmother is what I'm getting. Okay, or a mother definitely could be a mother. Or this is your wife, okay, or your husband. Yeah, the star. This could be somebody in the public eye, an influencer. I feel like somebody has walked away to, to, to follow their dreams or somebody's very beautiful. They're very comfortable. They work hard. Somebody is an inspirational or this is you, Cancer. You answer the call. You're in your calling. So I feel like somebody, they really admire you for that. But yeah, the Seven of Swords. And then Ten of Cups. Yeah, moving on. So I feel like somebody has this dedication or devotion to their family, but they still want to reach out to you or they want to talk to you. Or, yeah, the Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands, Four of Wands. All right, yeah. What is the Seven of Swords? Because I feel like, what is the Seven of Swords? Yeah, the Three of Swords, lies or an ex or infidelities or cheating, possibly a lot of them. There's a lot of lies here in a family situation or a dynamic or someone's pretending to be happy. Yeah, the nine of swords. And somebody shook, yeah, the justice about karma or about this lever. Or about their mother, grandmother, or this situation, this opportunity. Yeah, the ace of pentacles, six of wands, the sun, and the emperor. What's this? Or this lie, this heartbreak, this whatever this is. I feel like somebody goes from being real happy about doing something to being very sad. There's a loss and an emptiness here. There's a void, a true void here in the situation. I feel like somebody wishes that they could be free or someone's walking away from their mother. Yeah, the nine of wands. Someone's very, very agitated. Yeah, the five of cups and the two of pentacles at this loss 
or this imbalance or someone's juggling or they're lying. Just period. Yeah, the hermit and this Virgo was finding out about it. It could be a Virgo. The five of swords, knight of wands. Somebody could be sleeping with someone or getting back at someone. What's the nine of wands and the nine of swords? I feel like someone's nervous or lying about their attraction for someone as well. Real shit. What's the nine of swords, nine of wands? Yeah, the ten of wands, stressed out. Yeah, there's something that you've been enduring or you have been losing sleep over, constant heartbreak, lies, and cheating, or something's coming off like a facade here. I feel like somebody's ready to walk away. Yeah, the strength card, Ten of Wands, Leo. Someone's also annoyed because they cannot break you. It could be a Leo. This Sagittarius is annoyed. They're listening, or someone's annoyed with 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 um, yeah the page wands. But someone's attracted to you. Someone's annoyed with listening to you or hearing your voice, or you all will stop watching them and listening to their voice and and their channel and their everything. Stop being a fucking obsessed loser, bitch. The fuck you mean? Cause it ain't gonna stop. The messages. You have the Knight of Cups. You're ten toes down or you're strong or you're protected. You have strong will or you're just strong. You're unbreakable. Someone's threatened by that or they're annoyed or somebody wants to apologize. Knight of Cups, the moon, the magician. But somebody is, I don't know. I can't trust it. What's the Ten of Wands in the strength? Someone's watching to see you at the Eight of Swords. Somebody keeps trying to trap you or break you or keep you down or whatever. And it's just not working. You're prevailing. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Because you have, yeah, the Sun card. You, you, you already have, you know what's up, man. The Emperor and the the, the, the uh, Nine of Pentacles and the Will of Fortune. You're meant to carry this boss-ass energy. It's not going to change. Whoever's threatened about it or mad about it, whatever. I feel like somebody really wants to, to, to apologize, to be a part of you, reconcile. But they're also very threatened. For what? If you were, the only reason, the only time the nine of swords come out is if you motherfucking guilty of some shit. So somebody betrayed you, talked shit behind your back, lied or stole or did whatever the fuck this is. And they sit and they watch and they're annoyed and they're, thre they're, they're threatened by you and they're stressed the fuck out because they want to sabotage you or break you. It's not going to happen, bitch. You're going to be the one broken down. Bad. Yeah, the five of swords. Somebody's mad because you're, 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 this energy you pull is so fucking ball star. You shine bright and that's just what it is. It's your destiny. That's what it's going to be. Star card. Yeah, the two of cups and the king of pentacles. You're moving on. You walked away. You went after your dreams. You're not going to be a top part of the toxic or the fake ass shit or, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, the king of pentacles and your boss, just period. You're not going to get the two of cups and you're in love or you have love. You want somebody committal and devoted. You're moving on. Somebody is with somebody that's a snake and a liar. It could be a cancer or this is you. A cheater, a liar, and a con. You're moving on to be with somebody loyal very, and live this happy. So I feel like somebody's mad because you walked away to follow your dreams. You're actually going to have everything they wish they could. They put on the front for the world like shit happy, but they're miserable. They're a nasty, evil motherfucker. And who you are, genuinely wholesome and healthy and happy. And you're going to have somebody that's going to love you that way too. Or you do. Yes, yeah, successful. Somebody's mad about it. Or this is your ass. What is this? What's the nine of wands, nine of swords, ten of wands, page of swords? Somebody's on eggshells or somebody, your voice or your strength or something. Yeah, the seven of wands. And the three of cups and the hangman with the queen of swords and the tower and the world and the ten of swords. Yeah, something is ending again. It's over. It's impenetrable. It's not happening. It's in it. It's dead. It's over. Or something has backfired or something is a no or a no. Just period. You have the moon card. Yeah, I'm getting you're blocking somebody or you rejected them. You just know. I just feel like, yeah, the death card, something is dead and over. Or there's a change here. Something will never, or this death, this actual death, something will never 
um, be the same. It just won't. Somebody's hateful, nasty, and you know that. It's just over with. The tower in the world, yeah, and the ten of swords. Something is, in, something is a permanent ending here. There's an actual death here. Who else got this in their reading? Capricorn. And I'm getting, I'm getting this death is making somebody really realize how how important family is and being loyal and being real and ten toes down. A lot of motherfuckers have tried to break you or do a lot of shit to you or this is your ass and it did not work. Somebody's going to shine regardless. You're the high priestess. Somebody has a hit and help around them. There's a Virgo that's also jealous about your worker that wants to work with you or, or something like that. But they're, but they're doing shit behind the scenes. They, you're going to pay for that. Or this is your mother or whoever this is. Yeah, the devil and the ten of pentacles, a Capricorn in your family. This Capricorn, yeah, the two of pentacles that is trying to disrupt your pay or fuck with your money or do something to you. Okay. Yeah, the temperance. And the three of cups hangman, hey, you've done nothing but be temperance. Just wait because I'm getting, yeah, the Seven of Cups, a lot of confusion here. Because I'm getting um something that's about to be dead. It's it's gonna be over with. Yeah, the eight of wands. Is there if that was there was inconsistency, something's gonna pick back up here. Yeah, this could even be in your pay or whatever, or this offer or your work or whatever. It's going to pick back up. You're going to get the support you deserve. Somebody has been really, really on some wicked shit here, man. I'm getting it's not going to work. All right. Yeah, it's going to be a loss. Something's impenetrable. It's dead. It's just not going to work out. So, yeah, the six of wands, success and recognition. You're going to be happy here. You're going to have a reason to celebrate. Somebody's angry about it. All right, but something is working out with the three of pentacles. So I'm getting waves of happiness and then sadness here. But something's going to balance out. Something's going to work out okay. Um, who is this for? Cancer. All right, so yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, okay? Follow your girl on her um, TikTok at the, the underscore Empress Unique as well as all my other platforms. And I'll see you guys in the next one.